record, if you commit to the experience, it commands and demands your full attention. And it's not for everybody, but the people who get it, they get it. They want it. I'm a vampire, I'm a vampire. My name is Mark Rainey. I've worked in one way, shape, or form in independent music for the past 20 years. I've, in some way, shape, or form, been involved with just about every step of the process of independent music besides manufacturing until this venture that we're at here now. Cascade Record Pressing, um, the Northwest's uh, only current pressing plant in the U.S. We manufacture 12-inch vinyl LPs. My name is Adam Gonzalez. I'm a mastering engineer at Telegraph Mastering in Portland, Oregon. Well, Mark Rainey is not only my very old friend, uh, but he's also a colleague that I work together very closely with. I master a lot of records for his label, and I also cut a lot of lacquers for Cascade. You have to admit, objectively, that vinyl is really unique. If I said to you, I'm going to cut an analog of a waveform, in smaller and smaller concentric circles on each side of this disc. Then, I'm gonna send those discs to an electroforming facility. Then we're gonna send that to another facility, which actually loads those into a press that stamps with a ton and a half of force for each record. And then we're gonna hand that over to the consumer. It's kind of a remarkable and absurd way to store music. So these are our stampers that we use. We saw these on the A and B side. They're just a nickel plating. We start off with the raw material, put it in the hopper here, and the extruder starts pumping melted vinyl. So then it gets brought forward with labels A and B on either side, and then the press squeezes it. So a new biscuit, that comes on the trim table, blade drops down and starts trimming the excess flash. It gets picked up, and then you have the finished product here. We then just look for any imperfections, anything that would affect the sound. These stacks will then be taken into QA, listen to them, make sure that there isn't any imperfections. And then after that, they get stacked and cured for approximately 24 hours before assembly starts assembling the finished product. Most of the folks who work here, that's where we come from, independent music. We wanted to provide the service to our community and, and have our experiences as being band people and label people inform how we interact with the customers. So there's a lot of passion behind this. We really take a lot of pride in what we're doing. And they say this all the time, trying to stay in a constant state of improvement. That's sort of the, the philosophy here.